you know, if right now, if you only pay attention to what's going on on LinkedIn and the media, you know, you understand how important the AI is. It is. Everyone should learn AI. Everyone should learn coding. But it's not the only thing going on right now. You should look into things that are not as popular. You should look into things that are not a sure thing. And you might be way ahead of the curve. Like for me, that's how I even got into cloud. Now cloud seems obvious, right? It seems imminent. In 2013, most people hadn't really heard of it. So if you want to be ahead of the curve, you can't just go for the certain things. You have to explore uncertain things. And from programmer, uh, software programmer to a solution architect. So how do you feel this transition? Well, there's a couple things that make solutions architect more enjoyable to me. And it is seriously something different every day. You know, one day we're doing machine learning. One day we're doing a big migration of some databases. One day we're working on a plain old API. So the variety keeps me going. And what are the prerequisites uh, like for becoming an AWS uh, solution architect? How to learn? Can you please uh, give your insight? On that? If my customers come to me with something, you know, whatever it is, I get to help them with that. So that's really exciting. You need to enjoy that. How long it took for you uh, to get placed in uh, Amazon? 15 times total over seven years. It was the 15th time in the seventh year, that's when I finally got in as a software engineer at Amazon Music. You know, petabytes of data. I mean, big. Um, you know, choose self-directed projects. Don't just work on stuff that people tell you is important. Work on things that you're interested in. Follow your passions. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here with WizLabs today.